In 2024, this construction site at Tulketh in Preston is awaiting residential development. It is the site of the former Tulketh Hall. The last hall standing here was demolished in 1959. The hall and its immediate garden area thus escaped the residential development of the 19th and 20th centuries. Early Ordnance Survey maps also show a monastery site marked close to the hall. This monastery site was to remain marked on OS maps well into the 20th century. This was Tulketh Monastery. A community of monks settled here in 1124. They came from Savigny, a monastery in Normandy, which at that time was establishing a series of daughter houses. In 1127 the monks moved from Tulketh to the Furness Peninsula to found the magnificent <laughs> Furness Abbey. So although we are looking forward to celebrating 900 years of Furness in 2027, we can also, in 2024, celebrate the 900th anniversary of Tulketh, and of this small number of committed men who spent their first three years here on their way to their final home in Furness. PrestonHistory.com is an excellent website looking in depth at the history of the Lancashire town of Preston. Here we find a detailed and thoroughly researched article by Kim Travis entitled The Story of Tulketh and Tulketh Hall. It includes details of the establishment of the monastery. The first inhabitants of Tulketh, the area of Tulketh not the hall, for whom there is reliable evidence, are the monks who established the monastery there in 1124. Stephen of Blois, nephew of King Henry I and later to be king himself, gave land at Tulketh to found a monastery. Thirteen monks from the Abbey of Savigny in Normandy arrived on the 4th of July 1124, led by Ewan d'Avranche. On the 7th of July 1127, the monks transferred their monastery to what became Furness Abbey, and Tulketh was transferred back into Stephen's ownership. The Ordnance Survey map of 1849 shows features visible in the hall grounds and gardens a steep earthworks mound, the site of a monastery, and two wells. By the time of this map of 1893 the mound has disappeared, but the monastery site is still marked on the map in 1942. In 1774 Thomas West, a Catholic priest and antiquarian, wrote about the origins of Furness Abbey in his book The Antiquities of Furness. Of the early years at Tulketh, which he will surely have visited, he writes, on a rising ground at a small distance to the southwest of Tulketh Hall, some ruins and parts of the fosse which surrounded the principal buildings of that monastery are still visible. There are, however, good reasons to believe that this fosse or moat is of a higher antiquity than either the arrival of Ivanus and his monks or the Norman conquest. He speculates that the Tulketh Hall site may also have had some Roman defensive role with its prominent river position. In 1855, historian Charles Hardwick had visited the Tulketh site described earlier by Thomas West, and he saw that considerable remains of an artificial fosse or ditch were still apparent. He examined the site several times as it was being levelled, and although there were no Roman remains, building materials were visible which he says were probably the remains of the ruins described by West and which had been occupied by the monks in the 1100s. The English Heritage website says that in 1127 the monks moved from Tulketh to the Vale of Nightshade on the Furness Peninsula, which was then part of Lancashire. This seemingly remote site was actually an ideal location for a monastery. It had a supply of fresh water and ready access to building materials in the form of timber and stone, and communication with the wider world was facilitated by the abbey's proximity to the sea. Here at Tulketh in 2024, there is no remaining archaeological evidence and no plans to search for any. But thanks to the survival of Tulketh Hall and its immediate grounds until 1959, we can be sure that in this small space, the monks of Furness arrived to found Tulketh Monastery in 1124. As I quietly celebrate the 900th anniversary of this event in advance of the big celebrations of 2027, it is sad to say, 
given the evidence of many Ordnance Survey maps, that the monastery probably lies somewhere beneath the car park and buildings of James Mercer's group Building Services Engineering. But it was here once, and it still is in spirit. <laughs>